Welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars, where of course we play it and trade it. Looking at one of my favorite guitars today, the Gibson Les Paul Jr. I love it for its simplicity, but don't be fooled by that because this is a rock monster with big tones, a fat 50s neck, and one dog ear P90 pickup. I love the sound of P90 pickups. I'll tell you everything you need to know about this guitar. We'll pull it apart on the bench before we plug it in and play it. <laughs> Top. Remember, if you're in the market for any gear, click to buy using our link. You get fast free shipping, easy payment plans, and it supports our channel directly when you buy gear using our link. So thank you. Stay tuned to the end. I'll give you a final score on the Gibson Les Paul Jr., which currently goes for $15.99 USD. And I'll also give you some other great comparisons from Gibson and Epiphone, more importantly, because there are some really affordable options to compare and save yourself some money if that's what you want to do. But the mainstay Gibson Les Paul Jr. is a beauty. This one in a black gloss nitro finish. It's also available in tobacco burst. But let's get to work. Let's get it out of the case and get to work. Remember to drop a comment as we go. I'm excited about this one. Let's get to it. Nice Gibson brown hard shell case. And I will point out that the Les Paul Jr. comes with a hard shell case, which is actually shallower. So because it doesn't have the maple cap, it's a thinner guitar. It has a slightly shallower uh, hard shell case. Beautiful red interior, which looks real sharp. All right, out of the case, I love that Gibson is really focusing on what they do best and authentic recreations of their vintage instruments, which are time-tested and loved by so many players. In the case of the Les Paul Jr., they really went for a lot of historical accuracy. I love these vintage double-line Klusen-style Gibson Deluxe tuners with the plastic heads. This was originally a student-level guitar introduced in 1954, but it's made of all the top shelf components at the time, and this one is as well. So you're gonna have a beautiful piece of rosewood on the fretboard. A junior is just a slab of mahogany and a mahogany neck, so there's no maple carved top like a Les Paul standard. So it's thinner, it's typically lighter, and there's something about the resonance and tone of a junior with this single P90 pickup, which I absolutely love. There's no toggle switches, there's no nothing except a volume and tone, and I love that. It makes it easy to just focus on playing, and this guitar absolutely rips. And I'll tell you what, Gibson is making some great guitars, and this is a simple rock machine that really deserves your attention. Remember to stay tuned until the end, I'll give you the final score. Let's head over to the bench and get some specs. So a simple wraparound tailpiece, strings up and over, and then it is adjustable uh, from side to side with these two screws, put an Allen wrench in there, can adjust the pitch. But one of the quirks and hallmarks of a Les Paul Jr. is there's not much control over intonation, so it's part of wrestling the beast, but it's got a big sound as you'll see soon. I'll get these strings off and we'll go ahead and get some neck measurements. Nice piece of rosewood, 22 frets. I'm gonna hit it with just a little Diodario Hydrate just to give that rosewood a drink. While the Hydrate settles into the rosewood, I'll also mention that something that sets Gibson apart is that they pleck all of their guitars. All right, let's get some measurements on this neck. 1.69 inches at the nut, a thicker 0.88 inches at the first fret, up to 0.98 inches at the 12th fret. 50s profile, thicker for sure. Slab mahogany body comes in at 1.78 inches. It just couldn't be any simpler. Dog ear P90 means that the P90 cover itself is just screwed directly into the mahogany slab body. I'll go ahead and move these screws out of the way. Plastic pickup cover, and then underneath you can see the actual P90 pickup itself. P90s are old school. These are the pickups that came standard on all Gibsons before they developed the humbucker in 1957, but they still have a place today because they sound awesome. Great bite, great body and neck. This is the P90 dog ear pickup from Gibson. Single volume, single tone control. We'll go ahead and flip on the multimeter and get a reading on this pickup. Comes in at 7.6, voiced for a vintage spec P90. Simple is the key word. Pull off this control cavity cover and show you some 500K Gibson pots and a nice orange drop capacitor in there as well. All hand wired at Gibson. So the juniors tend to be lighter because it's just the slab body. Let's see where this one measures. Comfortable seven pounds, 12 ounces. So we'll call it seven and three quarters pounds. Nice weight. Flipping the junior around for an initial playing reaction. Uh, immediately you're struck by obviously the 50s profile neck, which is thicker. My preference is for a thicker neck. I love the sound of a junior, I really do. 
Great feeling guitar. Remember, if you're in the market for this or any other gear, click to buy using our link. It really does help us, so thank you. I also want to give a shout out to our premium channel member, Dennis. Here he is right here with his Les Paul. He got in touch and you can too. You can become a channel member, link in the description, all sorts of great perks, including access to our entire library of backing tracks and some other great things. All right, now comes my favorite part. I'm gonna plug in, we'll check out some clean tones, we'll dirty it up, and then we'll let it sing behind a track. Drop a comment as we go, and at the very end, I'll give you my final score and raw reactions to playing the Gibson Les Paul Jr. Let's get to work.
love it, Junior, because it's like a wrestling match with a guitar in the best way possible. You can't hide behind this guitar because it provides you so little options. It's just the one pickup. It's just the one volume and the one tone, and it really makes you focus on your playing, your voice, your melodies, but it's got this gnarly, nasty tone when you want to pull it out of the Gibson Les Paul Jr., and that is why I absolutely love this guitar. This one came from the factory perfect. It feels fantastic. I love the 50s profile neck. I was thinking about it, the only Les Paul Juniors that offer you a slim tapered neck are going to be the Gibson Billy Joe Armstrong Les Paul Jr., which is currently out of production, or the Epiphone Players Pack Billy Joe Armstrong Les Paul Jr. That's got a bolt-on neck, but it does have a slim neck because they're gearing that towards younger or beginning players. The rest of the lineup of Les Paul Juniors, and let's talk about that now, are all gonna feature that fatter 50s neck which I absolutely love. So first, let me give you some models to also focus on if you're in the market for this kind of sound. This Gibson model is at $15.99 USD. In Epiphone, you have a few great options. First of all, you have the Inspired by Gibson Epiphone Les Paul Jr. at $4.79, which is a crazy good deal. You also have the one I'd probably recommend, which is the Billy Joe Armstrong Les Paul Jr. Beautiful white with a cheetah lined case, comes with the hard shell case. That's at $5.49, which is an absolute steal. You can also look at something like the Jared James Nichols, uh, Les Paul Custom. Now that has an ebony fretboard, Les Paul Custom split diamond inlay, which is really cool, but that's also gonna have just one dog ear P90 for that kind of vibe or that kind of feel. Also giving you the ebony, that one's under $800. And then if you wanna go high end, you can look at Gibson Custom Shop. They offer both the single cut and double cut Gibson Les Paul Jr. at $39.99. And if you really wanna go all out, you can go for the heavy aged Murphy Lab, and that's from the Gibson Custom Murphy Lab. Uh, and these are all amazing instruments. You can see that they offer one at every price point. This one in particular, let's talk score. I give a grade based on three categories, overall playability, overall sound, and overall value. Overall playability, I had no issues on this one. I will say that one thing you have to be aware of with Andy Jr. is with the wraparound tailpiece, there's really not much control over intonation. You can raise the bridge either higher or lower or adjust it, kind of cocked from one side to the other. But there's not much you can do about that. There are modern replacement bridges that give you control over the intonation. Those might be worth checking out. But it does pull a few points back, generally speaking, on a Les Paul Jr., the fact that you don't have much control over the intonation. That said, the actual playing experience between this beautiful rosewood fretboard, the 50s profile neck, the plecked frets from Gibson USA, everything on this guitar made it an absolute joy to play, and I found myself getting all over the fretboard with ease, no problems at all. I would give it, on a playability score, I'd give it an 8.5. Overall sound. I am a sucker for a Les Paul Jr. and I'm a sucker for a P90. I love the simplicity. And for overall sound, I'm gonna go ahead and give this guitar a 9.2. I absolutely love the resonance of the body, even unplugged, sounds like just a dream. When you plug it in, you can either dial back that volume like you saw me do, or you can crank it up and let it scream. So on a pure sound basis, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 9.2. And then overall value, it's become increasingly difficult to find models from Gibson with a P90 pickup under $1599. In fact, this is the cheapest that you'll find in today's market is the Les Paul Jr. at $1599. They used to offer other iterations of the Les Paul Tribute and other models that had P90s, those are not offered anymore. So this is basically your entry level price into Gibson sporting a P90. And at this price, I do think with the hard shell case, with the plecked frets, with the quality construction that I'm seeing, it's a good price. It's not a great price. If you want a great price, you can find a better value, so to speak, in Epiphone. However, you're not gonna get the Gibson quality and this one was knocking it out of the park. In terms of value, I'll go ahead and give it an overall score of 8.5. All right, so if I average those out, that takes us to an overall score of 8.7 on the Gibson Les Paul Jr. I loved this guitar. It has its quirks, it has its kind of characteristic things that are both charming and frustrating, but you wrestle with it, like I said, in the best way possible because it's worth it and it sounds great and it plays great. This is the Gibson Les Paul Jr. from Gibson USA. Make sure if you're in the market for this guitar or any other gear you click to buy using our link, thank you, it really does help us. Make sure you're in it to win it. We have a Gibson Les Paul Deluxe Gold Top giveaway going on right now, link in description. Click to watch one of these video demos, drop a comment, let us know what you think of this Les Paul Jr. We'll see you on the next demo. Thanks for hanging out on Play and Trade Guitars.